dogs get into marijuana sometimes in the home and sometimes in the street um, when they're being walked. If there's marijuana in the house, t please tell us. That's actually one of the best things that you can possibly do because it makes that like a very high, high possibility and then we can sort of forget about doing diagnostics to rule out other potential causes. And then the other possibility is that it got into marijuana on the street. A lot of people smoke a joint and then leave whatever's left over on the street and that's typically what dogs will ingest. When your dog ingests marijuana, typically signs occur between like 30 and 90 minutes after ingestion, so it's rather quickly. So the things that bring the dog into the hospital that owners notice at home is that the dog becomes ataxic or uncoordinated at home. On its feet, it's almost walking like it's drunk. They become what's called hyperesthetic, meaning that you go to have like a normal pet, a normal touch, and they have an exaggerated response. And um, also people notice that their dog is dribbling urine. That's a really common thing that brings the animal into the hospital. At triage, we notice all of those things, but another thing that we see is that their heart rate is quite slow. So if you believe that your animal ingested marijuana, it would be best to bring them to the hospital because you never know, they could be one of those severe cases um, or moderate cases that require a hospitalization. But overall, the prognosis is typically very good with treatment and care.